The name Fela Ellipsis means Fela, and language refers to Fela, on which is a group of large moths. The flowers of Fela Ellipsis orchids resemble these moths in flight, hence it is also called moth orchid. Phalaenopsis is an orchid genus which consists of about 60 species, including Phalaenopsis anabilis, Phalaenopsis aphrodite, Phalaenopsis deliciosa, Phalaenopsis sequestris, and Phalaenopsis sumatrana. It is one of the most popular orchids, grown thanks to its easy culture. Its native habitat includes Southeast Asia north to the Himalayas and extends along the Pacific Rim from Taiwan's Orchid Island in the north to and through the Philippines, in particular the islands of Bololo, Palawan, Zamboanga down northern Mindanao, and all the way south to northern Australia. Most Phalaenopsis orchids are epiphytic orchids. This means that they derive the necessary moisture and nutrients for their survival from the air and the rain found in the local environment. A few moth orchids are lithophytes meaning they grow in and around rocks. When growing in the wild lithophytic orchids get their moisture and nutrients from moss, rainwater, litter, and their own dead tissue. Moth orchids exhibit monopodial growth which means they grow upward from one single point. Additional growth comes from that point as it grows taller each year. The flower stalks begin their growing from the growing point which is located at the junction of two leaves generally found just above the soil and bark level. Indoors the flowers once in bloom may last two months or longer. The leaves of moth orchids are thick and elliptical in shape. Depending on the light exposure the color of the leaves ranges from dark green indicating low light exposure to light green indicating high light exposure. As new leaves grow at the top, older leaves at the bottom turn yellow and fall off. A well-maintained moth orchid may have more than 10 leaves and possibly multiple flower stalks. Some plants form a new plant on their flower stalk. This new plant is called keiki. The term keiki is the Hawaii term for baby or child, and literally means the little one. Roots start to develop from this new plant. As soon as the roots are about 1 to 2 inches long the new plant can be cut off the mother plant and be planted in a new container filled with an orchid growing mix. Flower ellipsis are low-light orchids and thrive in an eastern, or shaded southern or western window. They also thrive under common grow lights. But fellow ellipsis orchids do not like full sunlight and they develop leaf burn as well as shorten the life of the flowers. As moth orchids are monopodial, they do not have pseudos bulbs to store water. Therefore they are not drought tolerant. During their growth period they need to be watered when their exposed roots show a silvery white color. This means watering them about once a week depending on the surrounding humidity. The potting mix should be slightly moist. During the flowering period watering them every 10 days to 2 weeks is sufficient. The higher the humidity the more important it is to provide proper airflow around the leaves and roots. During the growing period moth orchids appreciate to be fertilized weekly at one quarter strength of the manufacturer's recommendation. During the flowering season they need to be fertilized only once per month. To improve flowering some gardeners use a fertilizer high in phosphorus and potassium during the fall months of September and October. Fellow ellipsis orchids like warm temperatures between 75 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit although they adjust to normal house temperatures in the 65 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit range. The higher the temperature the more important it is to provide proper humidity. Blooming time for fellow ellipsis orchids is usually in late winter and early spring. Their long-lasting flowers open in succession with sometimes 20 flowers open at one time. To induce flower and cool to night temperatures ranging from 55 to 60 degrees Fahrenheit are recommended. Moth orchids grow in potting mixes which are designed for orchids and provide rapid drainage. If planted in containers, it is important that these containers provide good drainage meaning they have enough drainage holes at the bottom. They may also be grown in hanging baskets or mounted wood where humidity is set at a greenhouse level. When watering or misting, it is of utmost importance to make sure there is no water left in the growing tip. Any remaining water at the growing tip may cause it to rot and die. Therefore it is best to water and fertilize in the morning. If there is some water left at the growing point, it can be removed easily with an absorbent paper towel. Repetting of moth orchids should be done after their blooming period every other year. 
Foa ellipsis orchids, like most tropical plants, can be successfully grown when one follows proven and tested guidelines rewarding gardeners year after year with their exquisite, colorful, long-lasting flowers.